center stage here in primetime in Orlando. We are continuing to talk with our valued home appliances vendor partners, and I am very excited today to have Josh Landry, Chris Kayser from BSH Home Appliances. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Thank you. Yeah. Good. We are so here. excited you're yeah, here. Yeah. I'm awesome. excited to be here. All right. So the last two years have been absolutely crazy. We all know that. I think even the last six months have really been kind of up and down and tumultuous. So tell me, since we were last together in Phoenix, what has been going on with BSH? Well, it's, a, it's been a banner year. So 2020 was, 20, 2021 was a record breaking year. So we come into 22 with that challenge, like everybody, the comps are quite, quite ridiculous, but uh, <laughs> I think we're doing a pretty good job. We have challenges still in supply. Uh, I think Charlie said it best on stage the other day with, from Wells Fargo that uh, we see a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty similar 23 coming ahead of us. 22 is, is managing quite well. Our challenges, as everyone knows, is really in dishwashing, but uh, today at the show, we are launching our new dishwasher line, which we can talk about in a little bit. But yeah, yeah in general, uh, I think uh, we're pretty happy. Uh, our results for our, our region, North America, is quite good. Uh, globally, you know, we see challenges also, but uh, we're, we're pretty happy with what we're doing, and we just got to fix that supply chain. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know? it's, it's definitely a challenge yeah. for everybody. So yeah. um, let's dig into that a little yeah. bit. What are you all doing to help with the supply chain issues and to ensure that retailers have the products yeah. they need to service their customers? It's a good one for Josh yeah. here. That's Josh's daily task. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mixture Eat, of a lot of sleep, things. sleep, live. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everything. Uh, it's a mixture of a lot of things. It's, it's where you bring the products in, you know, bringing them into different ports in the U.S. where it makes sense. Um, being more efficient in a lot of your processes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's a lot. We've, yeah. we've worked really hard the last 12, 18, 24 months to improve the entire line from beginning to end. Big investments in, in, in different lines, different factories. Uh, we're, we're, we have large investments to move our refrigeration factory from, from yeah. China to Mexico. So mm -hmm. that'll be a, a big undertaking for our French store bottom outs. So we'll see production in North America in 2024. Yep. Uh, investments in our dishwasher factory in New Bern to increase our output. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see those investments come true by the end of 2023. So a lot of things we're doing and uh, you know, we're getting better like everybody. We're getting better to understand the challenges we have in the supply chain and how to fix it. Our logistics folks are shaving an hour here and a day there and, and this is what it takes. Yeah. So I think that your, your membership has been very patient with us. We know that we hold a nice market share in dishwashing and they love that for Bosch. Uh, it glues the package together, and uh, I think uh, what they're seeing at our at our exhibit this this week uh, is that new launch. So we're looking forward to uh, showing what we're doing. Yeah. So let, let's talk yeah. about that new launch. Yeah. I know it's, it's awesome. we we are debuting yep. the new dish launch yep. that is not even going to be available uh, until yeah. next yeah. summer, right? This is like, like this the car is, industry. This, this is fantastic. We stopped <laughs> taking orders from the old. We're ordering for the new. I love it's it. It's amazing, right? Yeah. I Innovation. love it. I love it. I can't wait. Bosch. Yeah. So. What is yeah. what is the cornerstone of this new dish line? What's so special? Josh, customization. Yeah. So that's 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 the, without going into too much detail yet. <laughs> uh, customization is, is is really the key. It's it's something innovative that's that's not on the market today. That's never been in the market. That was even though we're a German company, this was actually technology that was developed here in the oh, states okay. by our own local development team. So we're super excited about it. We think it's the next step. We've tackled the drying. We've tackled the third rack, all of these different sides of it, and now, now this true customization to really give the, the best wash in the industry. Yeah, and we've also got a Thermador Pro yeah, range this here, is, I understand, yeah, I think we, right? I think we let that secret out in a little message, I think, but yeah, the, it's a 48 inch, we're showing the 48 inch uh, single plug. So as you, as you probably know, Thermador invented the column refrigeration. Uh, we brought it to market and uh, the larger part of the built-in market is the single plug. So if you want a 48-inch refrigerator, now you can come to Thermador. It's a replacement for current 48s that may go bad. Uh, so it's crazy to think of a 48-inch refrigerator as a duress, but it happens. Someone has to replace their 48-inch and they don't want to use two plugs. So now we have the solution with the single plug. Uh, it'll be available in 42 and also in 36. And I think, Josh, some of the cool features with cameras and other areas. Yeah, are, you got uh, cameras that have the ability to have dual ice makers. So yeah. you can give customers, again, customization options, flexible temp drawers, things that we've, we've never, again, brought in the past. Internal water, which is something that we've been, been excited to bring to market for a while now. So, yeah. yeah. It's been under development for some time. And uh, this, this is a big one. This is, I think, really will uh, help... Uh, uh, 
the nationwide uh, members with the luxury side of Thermidor. We're yeah. super stoked. Yeah, yeah. I know. And, I, and I know the members are loving to be able to yeah. come here, come to your booth, yeah. touch it, feel yeah. it, see it, really kind of experience yeah. it. So what else are Bosch and Thermidor doing to support independent retailers and the independent channel at large? I mean, in general, we're, we're obviously here. Um, yeah. And I think I think uh, what, what what your team has been doing with us uh, over the last, last couple of years, developing different ways and different relationships with the membership. Uh, the Luxury Council, this is incredible. Uh, what we're doing from the builder side with, with your members is also very helpful. Um, we, we had a great meeting in Chicago yeah. uh, at our Inspiration Design Center. Uh, we hope to have more of those. Uh, but I think in general, our, 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 we're very reliant on what, what, what your group does. And we're very supportive of any activities we can take advantage of. Uh, I think Josh can maybe give some insight to how we manage things like price increases. That was, and, that was one of the examples yeah. I was going to yeah. use. Obviously, with material price increases going up daily, it gets really difficult to manage. And we realize that notification to a dealer, it makes a, a big difference in how, how it's relayed. So we, we, we gave a six-month notice on a price increase recently, which is something that's unheard of to right. get that much of a heads up. But we wanted everyone to know that we're going up. Please plan accordingly to make sure that they're impacted as little as possible to make sure they can maintain the profitability. And then we combine that with our maps and we make sure our maps are also giving them a heads up, a head start, so yeah. they can maintain their profitability. So it's, it's a big part of what we're doing with, with the membership. That's great, yeah. that's great. Now you mentioned the Experience Design yeah. Center. I was fortunate to be oh. able to attend. Oh, you were in Chicago. I, I, I didn't get to go. Yeah, I, I, I know, bummed. I missed you. So. so you got to see the beautiful vault. I yes. did. Yeah. I cool. love the vault. We were yeah. opening up all the doors, trying yeah. to see if there was you know, a, a <laughs> spare money. like rod of gold yeah, our, stuck our, in there. Our showroom manager, Larry <laughs> Santello, who I think you met, Matt, uh -huh. he individually had to pop out all the, all the little pops. locks on it. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're very fortunate in Chicago. I mean, the Merchandise Mart, Merchant Exchange is one of the oldest, biggest uh, marts on the planet. Yeah. Um, we were lucky that our EDC, our Experience Design Center, was located next to the original bank. And that spot was landlocked. Nobody could get that spot. So we negotiated for years and years. Oh. The Germans are a little bit slow sometimes <laughs> with this stuff. And we were lucky to have this this fault. But yeah, that, that Chicago EDC was uh, our, our third. Uh, we have one in Irvine, California, Newport. We have one in New York. We're finishing touches on Miami. Um, we also hit supply chain challenges on that side because we can't get certain things either to finish our showroom. Right. So a little bit delayed, but we'll have it open by November. And then we move into um, Houston, very big one, much like our Irvine Training Center, mm -hmm. uh, Beverly Hills. And then we have basically six or seven new, uh, excuse me, DC yeah. will happen first yep. quarter. And then we have about five more locations. We're looking at about 15 locations probably by 2025. I think it's very important not that we have we have these showrooms and EDCs. Um, it's, a, it's a real tool for, for the independent dealer. Yeah. Um, it's a great place. We have we have a new lead generation system that will track the leads, get it to get it to mm -hmm. your membership, so that we can full circle close close that 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 that, that order. I love so, that, and I, and I yeah. loved hearing just this the strategy yeah. behind picking the locations, yes. yeah. picking destinations yeah. where you know that you have yeah. designers and architects who are already coming to these cities for other things. So to be able to have an EDC there that they can go and experience. Yeah. And with all of that, build a more robust training network. Yeah. So yeah. be able to be much more regionalized with our training and help focus to support to support the markets. Yeah, it's so going to yeah, be fantastic. So you, so you had Chicago. That's cool. Yeah, I, it was I, yeah. it was fantastic. I loved yeah. it. We had, it was a That's wonderful awesome. experience. Yeah, so we hopefully maybe our next one will be in Miami. We have a nice veranda that overlooks yeah. Biscayne Bay. We'll do oh. a little event up top with, with those folks. That, so that was a good meeting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. Cool. All right, so besides the new product launches, expansions of EDCs, you've got some great deals going on yeah. here at Primetime. As we look ahead to the end of 2022 and start making plans for 2023 it sounds crazy but you know what do we see for the back half of the year what are you expecting as we get into 2023 yeah so um we're, we're getting better and better thermometer for example is uh in some cases yeah we do have some product lines that are maybe out 12 months but in general we're looking six to eight months mm -hmm. overall okay. our cooking uh business is is ramping up a lot better right now uh, dishwashing, obviously the launch will be next summer, so that'll be excellent. Um, and and uh, I think the other things that we're seeing is, we're seeing a really great opportunity to continue to grow our business. Mm -hmm. um, we're estimating probably a, a, a one to 2% appliance growth, but we think 
with our share, we'll probably be three to four percent uh, opportunities because we kind of operate in that middle premium to luxury yep. segment. So I don't think it'll be as difficult for us as semi other brands that are in the uh, duress market mm -hmm. to really achieve some good results. So I think we're in good shape. It's going to be a challenging year. It's going to be a lot like 21, 22. Yeah. But I think we're all used to it now. And I think the membership's really been really awesome with us. And the consumers want our brands and they want to shop at your member stores. So I think we should have a great year. Wonderful. You know, let's do it. Wonderful. You well, can't change what happens out there, right? You can't, but I mean, at least you have a foundation to look back on to help prepare for the future. So right. that is wonderful. Well, the floor is hopping. I know your yeah. booth is hopping. We want you to be able to get awesome. back and get back to the members. But before I let you go, um, you know, as we do look forward to 2023, we're going to be meeting again in March yes. in Dallas. Yes. So um, I know there are a ton of retailers you've been able to talk with here, but there are those who didn't get to make it to Orlando. So do you have any advice for members <laughs> as they're starting to make their 2023 travel plans? Oh, definitely plan on attending. That's for sure. These, these shows are a great opportunity. We really missed the, the times when we had that gap in yeah. initially. And, and it's so great to have everybody back to have this amount of attendance and there's a lot of things that we're able to show that you wouldn't be able to relay otherwise. So definitely plan on attending if you can. It's yeah, get to get the Dallas. While. We're going to be there. We're going to be uh, on the eve of our dishwasher launch. So get the Dallas and uh, let's let's figure this uh, 23 out. Yeah, wonderful. Josh Landry, Chris Kayser, thank, thank you both so much for joining me here on Center Stage. And thank you for joining us here on Center Stage. I do hope you'll come back. We have a lot more planned over the next day and a half. We'll see you soon.